All right, so a new season, a new account, new videos, and a new format. I've received requests before to add commentary on some of my videos, and I figured that with the release of Season 2 for Gundam Evolution, now more than ever would be an excellent opportunity to do so. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for the minor hiatus on the channel. December and January are busy months for me, so instead of dividing my time between accumulating footage and producing videos, I opted to go all in on getting a bunch of recordings first. I've acquired a healthy amount that should last us for most of winter, so look forward to those. Also, in this season, I'm doing my best to branch out from using the OG Gundam. I climbed most of Season 1 using said mobile suit, and though it served me well in the past, you start wanting to try something new. Hope you like Zaku Ranged, because I endeavored to use more of this particular unit since I find them super fun to play. Alright, starting with placement match number one on Underground Command Center. Since it's the first match of the season, I decide to kick off our ranked journey with the Zesty Spawn Ambush. I don't recommend you use this tactic often. Especially against me, I search this spot every time. I haven't found anyone yet. That may change. Hiding out here, we're looking for any opportunity to disable a unit and give our team the numbers advantage in a fight. Even if people walk this way, I doubt they're going to hard clear our hiding spot. Patience, not everyone has left the spawn yet. That looks particularly juicy, I see a new Gundam. I take note of the sniper, so I have to be very careful here. Empty my mag, can't quite get the pick, but I go in for seconds. Not quite recommended, but they weren't paying particular attention to me, so I go for it. I anticipate that he's going to go for the res, I go in, secure the kill on the new Gundam, and then dip out. Not much else I can do here. Start pressuring the front line again, helping out where I can, finding value where I can. Here I'm trying to kill the gun tank, I anticipate that he's going to want to get the med kit, I go for it instead, steal it from them, and then finish off with the kill. Now I'm just trying to rotate and get out alive. This is a pretty bad situation. Use the movement, use the cover, and then go back for the health kit back there. Go back to the front line. Notice that the Gundam is way too far forward, try to get the pick, unfortunately he's saved by his allies. I come back here, I pop my E to make sure I don't die. I step even further back to analyze the situation. Notice that we're up one, now we're up two, I decide to continue fighting with my team. New Gundam seems a little too far forward, I go for a kill, can't get it, my allies do, at this point we won the fight. Now we're just cleaning up, and now we take the waypoint back. Nice. Zaku range on defense is going to be a whole bunch of following up on your allies' actions, so you want to keep your head on a swivel to see what they're doing at all times and going there to assist as best you can. Usually that means closing out on a kill, or assisting them if they start getting pressured by the enemy team. In my opinion, I don't think that you should be particularly stingy with the Zaku range ult, especially early in the game. Especially on destruction as well. You build it up so fast in comparison to like the rest of the mobile suits. I think the only two who are really who can compete with you in terms of how fast you build your ult rate is Ashimar and OG Gundam. So don't feel the need to hold on to your ult in an effort to maximize its value. If you can secure one kill, and by securing I mean destroying a mobile suit completely, not just disabling it, then it was worth. Because on average, if you completely destroy any mobile suit unit, you get one-fifth of your ult back. Going back around here, just kind of chilling out with the defense. I'm going back, I'm taking stock of the situation, looking at where I can- Oh, I should- oh, Speaking of taking stock of the situation, I just want to apologize for like these first couple of games. Uh, I tried doing live commentary and it just- it was just a fucking train wreck. <laughs> There's just no way I can do live commentary and play Zaku range at the same time. I just- it just fails on both ends. I start stuttering, I start going mm, ah, ooh, 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 and then like my my aim just goes to crap. It's just so bad. It does not bode well for my future as a streamer. Whenever I decide to actually stream. Ha, huh. but if I do it's at twitch.tv slash discounts anthem. Don't forget to follow. Dom Trooper just teleport. Anyone else see that? Anyway, I hear the Exia pop its ult, I fall back, I know that there's not really much that we can do here at least from that stop them from securing the point. Maybe we can recontest from here? And well, the Dawn Trooper just died, so I sincerely doubt that. They're also popping their ults to secure that. Well, if that's the case, then so be it. Okay, this is a pretty precarious scenario right here, because we're down two, they have the momentum, and if too many of us die here, they get a free Mega Charge Plant. If they get a free Mega Charge Plant with their Unicorn Gundam and all six of them stack on it, it's going to be impossible to dislodge them from there. 
So I'm retreating slowly and I'm contesting them where I can. I'm just trying to buy time. I'm not going for a kill. I don't want them to walk in for free. That right there was actually pretty risky. If I died there, it'd be catastrophic. Dom Trooper just popped its ult, but unfortunately I can't follow up on it because I made the decision to buy time. Thankfully, it looks like that I don't need to follow up at all. The Dom Trooper got a pick, everyone's getting a pick, and it looks like they won the fight without me. Following up on that disarm, it looks like we collectively as a team decide to push forward and take the fight away from the objective, denying them a free plant. Since with only 30 seconds remaining, it's very likely that this is going to be the last fight, so I've got to be sure to use my ult. I see the new Gundam, and I pop my ult. At this point in time, I don't know what the new Gundam is capable of, and I'm not really going to find out, so I just decided to take it out of the fight. I back off because of the Gundam ult. They get two. It's looking a little risky, but we were able to get a revive, and because of how much damage we were able to incur on the enemy team, they can't really push forward and force a plant. Ending the fight. Ending the round right then and there. I am looking for two things when I'm attacking on Underground Command Center. I'm ambushing an enemy that is distracted by my allies, or if for some reason the enemy team has left their flanks underdefended, I'm going to exploit the opening in their formation and go for a sneaky back cap with the mega charge. A back cap in this scenario is pretty devastating because if they don't respond instantaneously, they're probably going to lose it. On average, you're going to get 15 seconds with a back cap on a mega charge map. Start of the match, we're going to wait and assess the situation. My team wants to push hard on the right, I'm going to split left. You'll often find that you can get more value out of the Zaku range when split from your team. One of my teammates gets picked off, which means the enemy is going to collapse on my allies to push the numbers advantage. But this frees up the left flank, so I attempt to sneak behind. The Ashmar spots me, and I'm going to bait him into a 1v1. I have my cooldowns and a medkit nearby, so I'm confident I can win the duel. It takes longer than I would want, but we get the job done. Not only that, but despite the early pick, my allies win the team fight. This wasn't intentional, but the mega charge plant timing coupled with winning the fight means that only one or two people can contest the objective. The gun tank goes for the disarm, but I'm here to interrupt, and so is the rest of my team. And there you have it. First placement match of Season 2 completed. GG's. Hey, thanks again for tuning in. Appreciate the support. Feel free to check out some of the other videos on my channel. If video essays and reviews are more your thing, then head on over to my alternate at youtube.com forward slash Xantham. Either way, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!